colder today than it was yesterday. Good morning. It is March 2nd. It is also like 20 degrees colder because Ohio decides that one day it will be 60 and the next day it will be 32. So that's normal. Today I did want to talk about a new concept that I am, not concept, yes, I guess it's a new phrase that I'm going to coin. We all know the whole phrase, if you go off to college, you are bound to gain the quote unquote freshman 15. You no longer have, you know, parents there to sign you up for soccer practice and pack your lunch anymore. You are now responsible for your meal plan, your diet, your activity level, and most college students don't have a grasp on that yet, so they end up gaining about 15 pounds. That's pretty standard and normal and accepted. But what happens when after months of searching and financial stress, you finally get a job? And it's an office job. It makes you drive to the same location every day, sit in the same office or cubicle every day. I am going to coin the new phrase, going off the freshman 15, I'm going to call it the full-time 15. Oh, it's what happens when your, you know, basic needs and financial necessities take precedence over going to the grocery store and meal prepping. Or, in my case, I still go to the grocery store and meal prep. And then halfway through the week, I get so stressed over random dumb things that I'll eat my planned dinner and then be so hungry, I'll eat another one. That says one of two things. Either my meals are too small and calorie, or I'm just not having enough meals. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But the full-time 15, characterized when your full-time adult job takes away from the time you could have normally been put, putting towards... Um, working out, eating right, taking time to like meditate, mental health, all that stuff. And kudos to those people that can wake up at five o'clock in the morning and do a two mile run and gym and shower and get to the office by eight. Good for you. I am not there yet. And if I never get there, I will not be mad. Yesterday was kind of a bittersweet day. It was my last day teaching, like I said in my previous vlog, March 1st. Uh, it was my last day of teaching at my little side hustle, and now I will have time after work. So between 4 and 4.30, my workday will end, and I could very easily and foreseeably go to the gym. I also have my gym pass, so it is time. Since I am not a morning person, if I'm not going to get it done in the morning, it just makes sense to get it done in the afternoon. I do have on my goal list for March to have one day where I wake up early enough go to the gym and work out before work. Just just to see if I could do it, because I, I know I physically can do it. I just don't know if I have the stamina and the discipline it takes to pull yourself out of a warm bed when it's 32 degrees out in March, throw on clothes and go to the gym. And I think for me, I'd have to like take my work clothes with me. I don't think I would have the time to leave my house, go to the gym, come back to the house, shower, and have clothes. I would prefer just taking my work clothes with me because I'm all about simplicity. I don't like things that are super complicated, which is weird because I would always overbook myself with you know life events and jobs and performances. My schedule was just insane, and I still feel like I'm recovering from that. You know, months down the road. Whew. But, some hard numbers, we're going to go off the numbers this month. I would like to lose 20 pounds, it does not have to be in the month, but I've already weighed in at the beginning and I have lost 3 pounds from where I started, so 3 down, 17 to go. I hope you guys like my new phrase, the freshman 15 is now the full time 15. Maybe I should put that on Wikipedia, or like Urban Dictionary. The full-time 15, when your full-time job takes precedence clearly over your physical well-being and you just don't care. You know, what kills me is I've seen a lot of people from high school who were like track and field sports stars, could eat whatever they wanted, and they were so skinny and muscular athletic. They spent so many times, so many hours, so many times, so much time 
working out and then you see them years later they've gone to school they got a great degree they've got a high paying job and a house and a spouse kids and a dog and a white picket fence and they put on 50 pounds that just amazes me you guys were once so disciplined was it only under the shelter of mom and dad that you were you know able to not be stressed out about paying all your bills on time and getting it all in i don't know i find that I'm not, you know, talking bad about these people. I just, it really opened your eyes that this is a real thing. This is not just something that I'm going through, clearly. But it's just amazing to me. It's actually early for me. I got up a half hour earlier. I'm trying to, like, reset my morning schedule. I'm trying to wake up. If you watch this channel for any amount of time, I'm pretty sure in every video I remind everyone I am not a morning person. I hate hate, hate mornings. Oh, there's always that snooze button and there's always 15 minutes more of sleep in my book. But day two of March Madness. Tomorrow will be a mad day. I am moving things to my home, so I know I'll be getting my 10,000 steps on my, you know, little step tracker because I live on the third floor of my apartment and I've got at least 12 trips of things up and down the stairs just to load my car, and then I've got two other cars to load. And then once we get to the place, it's all unloading everything. So I'm pretty sure I will be dressing in gym clothes, comfortable things, and I will be just unpacking. I hate packing. And I thought when I worked on cruise ships, I thought packing up a small, like, eight by 15 cabin sucked. Packing a place you've lived in for 18 months consistently, that's horrible. How anyone does this with kids, I do not know. I understand now why you guys throw the money at it, have somebody pack your house for you, and you just move. Shout out to my boyfriend, Christopher. He said, oh. he said, um, hey sweetheart, is it okay if I go to the gym with you this week? We went to the gym together and it was so nice. I never expected that to happen. Anybody else have a significant other that you thought would, you know, rarely ever want to go to the gym, let alone ask you? And then they did. Oh, it was like a late Valentine's Day present. <laughs> but anyway, this is just me blabbering in the car in downtown traffic. I hope you guys like my new phrase, the full time 15. And Maybe someday I'll figure out how to crack the full-time 15 because I've tried meal prepping and somehow something always happens, whether it be a deadline or something unexpected or finishing out um, a sentimental job that you had that just makes you sad. <sighs> Food is not the answer. Food will not make you feel better, but that is all you want when you have all the feels. So the full-time 15. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm trying to do a fitness clothing haul because I ordered a lot of new gym clothes because I'm trying to get pumped up about going to the gym and I thought that buying like a few things to my gym wardrobe would inspire me to go to the gym but it hasn't come yet and I'm waiting for it to come and thank goodness I'll still have my apartment address for a few days so I can get everything I need in the mail. Should have mailed it to the new place. But anyway, oh my gosh, I'm still blabbering. I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully less of these will be me driving in the car. It's just right now everything is so busy. I cannot sit down in a apartment that is filled with boxes. First of all, that's not aesthetically pleasing. But I digress. We'll have some stuff vlogged and filmed in the new condo in the next few days. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow.